Okay, algebra one, not algebra one, algebra two. Uh, this is the properties of logarithms homework. I'm going to go through. I told you guys to only work on the odds. If you did it and want, just want to check your answers, I'll put the PDF key on Google Classrooms. If you haven't done it and kind of want to walk through it uh, with me in the video, you could watch the video. Up to you. Okay, so today is 3, 18, 20. And then after this, I'm, I'll put, you know, I'll do most of this worksheet with you. Uh, and then there's going to be a mini quiz on Google Forms. And that'll be available through Classrooms. All right. The first bit, the front of this page was just expanding logarithms. Remember, there's basically two, there's three rules to this when you're expanding logarithms. If it's a multiplication problem, you're going to separate them through addition. Okay. Each separate number, each separate variable is going to get its own logarithm. Okay, so if you have two numbers, you're going to have two logs. If you have three variables, you're going to have three logs. The second rule is if you have a division, we're going to separate that with subtraction. And if you have an exponent, that exponent is going to go out front as a multiplication. So this first one, log of 6 times 11. We can rewrite this and expand it out as log 6 plus log 11. It's just as simple as that expansion. Number three, log of six over 11 raised to the fifth power. Okay. Uh, there's two ways you could write this one. We know that this five is gonna have to go out front. Okay. So really this is, we could rewrite this in one step as 5 times log of 6 over 11. And then we can re expand that more by saying 5 and then in parentheses log 6 minus log 11. Okay. You would need the parentheses there because when you have a quotient being raised to a power, both the top and the bottom is being raised to that power. So it's really 6 to the 5th and 11 to the 5th. So it has to apply to both of them. Now with that said, there's another way you could write this. You could rewrite this as... You could have without parentheses 5 times log 6 minus 5 times log 11. So you kind of distribute that through. Either one of those is fine. Okay. Now in the second one, the second one doesn't have... Or the, not the second one, the next one. Next one doesn't have the parentheses. So that four, that two to the fourth power is only being applied to the four, or to the two. So on this one, if I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna show all the steps for, you know, these first couple at least. So really this is gonna be log of two to the fourth minus log of five. Okay, again, division means subtraction in logs. And then you could take the exponent, the 4, and put it out front. It's going to be 4 log 2. Oops, log 2. Minus log 5. Okay. Number 7 is pretty similar to that previous one, except now this exponent's only on the y. This one would be log x minus 6 log y. And again, 9 is very similar to those as well. It's going to be 4 log u. Exponents always go out front. And then minus, because it's a division, log v. Eleven is the first one that changes a little bit. This one we have three variables, so we're gonna have three separate logs, and they're being square rooted. Okay, not square rooted; it's being cube rooted. So the cube root, we could rewrite a cube root. Remember, as a rational exponent. So we re rewrite this whole thing as log of x times y times z 
the whole thing raised to the one third power. Okay. That one third power can go out front. And then each variable gets its own log. So log x gets its own log, y gets its own log, and z gets its own log. We're separating them with addition because they were multiplication problems. All right, so you could write it like that, the one third out front. You could also distribute that one third if you want. So every term gets the one third. So one third log x, one third log y, one third log z. Uh, you could even write it as a fraction. Again, I would accept either of these. You even have log x over 3 plus log y over 3 plus log z over 3. Yeah. Either one of those three is fine with me. Okay. The back page is condensing the logs. So writing logs is a single one. So it's basically the opposite of what we just did. This first one, 13 log 3 minus log 8. It's a minus, so it's going to turn into one log with a division. Okay. So when you're condensing them, it's always going to be a single logarithm. This one, 3 over 8. 15, again, we're just going to have one log. Anytime there's numbers out front, they're going to become variables when we condense them. And this one is a subtraction, so it's going to be a division again. So it's going to be log of 3 to the 4th power over 8 to the 4th power. And again, we're not evaluating these. We're just condensing and expanding. We don't have to simplify or anything. Okay. Log 7 minus 2 log 12. 7 is going to go on top divided by 12 to the second power. Uh, the next one's the first one with addition, so this is going to be a multiplication problem. We're going to have one log. This one does have a base of 3. Okay. And then it's going to be, you know, we're going to move the numbers out front as exponents. So it's going to be u to the 6th times v to the 6th. Okay. You can put these in parentheses if you want. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. Okay. 21. Log base 4. You have u on top divided by v to the 6th on the bottom. And the last one, again, numbers out front go up top, become exponents. This is an addition, so it's going to be a multiplication. This is log base 6 of u to the 20th, v to the 5th. Now you don't have to do 25. Uh, but we could try it. This looks like we have a 2 out front of parentheses. So that's going to be applied to both of these terms. So we could start by rewriting this as 2 times 1 log of 2x divided by y. minus log of, this one's in addition, so it's going to be 3 times 5 squared. 
I'm going to simplify this one, the left one, as much as I can first. You're going to have to square that entire term. Okay. So it's going to be 2 squared, x squared, over y squared, minus log 3 times 5 to the second power. 5 to the second power is 25 times 3 is 75. Now we're still not one log yet. We're going to have log of, it's going to be this fraction divided by that fraction. We did complex fractions when we talked did rational functions. So we know if we're dividing a fraction by a number, that number is just going to go on the bottom. So on top, we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4x squared. And on the bottom, it's going to be y squared times 75, 75y squared. That one's harder than anything I'd expect from you guys, but you know, might as well do it if it's there. 